Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, it's about 39 degrees, been overcast, I doubt my batteries are charged and they're not. So let's say 3 degrees Celsius, yep 3.2, Get beginning to learn my scales here. And that one says 37. So, welcome to about 2.30. Right, what are we at? About 2.30, quarter to 3. Well, let me show you what I've been up to. Um, when you start out with any uh, redneck project, and what's a redneck project? A redneck project is when you're taking something and mixing it with something else to get yet a third hybrid item, a hybrid, let's say, um, that that suits your task, whatever your task is, right? So, you know, redneck slingshots, they shoot people off into the sky. Redneck rocket ships, you know, take off for a short distance and then crash into things. So, this is my redneck project, and I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to go with it. No matter what, first thing you got to do when you're converting something from electric to gas is get all the electric out. And I've done that, right? I've gotten everything out. Um, and remember I was fooling around with the brake yesterday? Turns out that the uh, it does seem to have a bit of a brake cable problem here. Um, and it, did, it was dragging. Now, it appears to be loose. Right. So, that's a good thing. This is a good thing. Oops. Right, I mean, it even goes for a little bit. I mean, the fronts are free. Right. And steering's good. Right. One into the other, it doesn't skip. So your basic cart is okay. Um, the frame here is not great. It is not great at all. I mean, it's still there, but it's a bit shaky. And that side, so it might be worse, the worst of the two. So, the frame's a little shaky. Uh, and now I'm also debating how far to go with this thing. And there's um, there's one guy. A bunch of people on YouTube have converted electric gas, electric golf carts to gas. And a bunch of them who've had this type of motor, they've just um, put a gear on that sprocket. And more or less went with a one-to-one -one ratio and called it a, a day. They just used... A uh, tip. Most of them, all, actually, all the ones I saw used a centrifugal clutch. Um, a bunch of them used the Predator engine, the six and a half horsepower Predator, to drive the whole thing. Oh. This is the motor that was in it. Oh, now let's see if we can't get you so you can read it. I don't know. Could you read this here? Two horsepower made by GE in the United States 2800 RPM maximum is 8000 so I guess if you go shooting downhill at 100 miles per hour 36 volts 60 minutes um, so you do have to stop once in a while where this thing overheats this thing weighs a ton Um, I was surprised there were only 
well there might be a fourth but it wasn't in there but there were only three bolts holding it on right you could see the I was that that really kind of surprised me I figured it would take more than that but if it's really only two horsepower I guess it's not really threatening to tear anything loose and the bolts were small That was all that was holding, three of those were holding it on, that was it. I mean, you can see compared to my fingers how small it is. Anyway, and now the great debate. How far to go with this? If I fix the cable, I have a cart that rolls and stops and steers tires. I have some um, some uh, used takeoffs. You buy them from on eBay. There's a company down in Georgia that uh, I don't know if they doll up gol golf carts for a living. Seems that a lot of golf carts come out of Georgia. I guess that's probably where EasyGo or Textron or you, you know I guess that's probably where they're made. Maybe club cars down there too. I think they are, as a matter of fact. So, in the uh, back here, in my stack, in my hoard, right, you see them right there. I think I have four golf cart tires looking for somewhere to be. And that being the case, sorry for the wind, that being the case, now I have it up on all four. Um, once again, if I fix that cable, it rolls, it stops, it steers. Now all I need is something to make it go. And this is where things always get so interesting. I could basically replace those shocks with... Um, Um, what do you want? A threaded rod with a uh, steel insert, so to speak, a piece of pipe, and a threaded rod. I don't know if I still have the threaded rod here, or if I move that, I had to move it. Um, yeah, a long piece of threaded rod like this, right, with a piece of pipe in between it. So now my shocks are fixed, and I'm happy, you know, perhaps a washer on the top and the bottom. Um, go with maybe one inch pipe that way they're not all that much different than the size of the shocks that are in there so now my axles fixed it would not take much to rig up a um, a plate on that and bolt in one of those predator engines basically hollow this thing out cut a hole in the side so the chain drives the armature which drives that which makes the whole thing go I know you're a rat here's the uh, gas pedal when I push it down so I'm sure from this I could um, extend this bar upward put a cable so that when I push right or actually put the cable here bar such that when I push right the bar would move this way which would pull the cable which would give me throttle so I got a gas pedal right now I got a gas pedal I got a brake I got steering I got tires I got it rolling plate on here engine mounted right and then it just runs backwards to the rear end. I guess the big dis decision really that's left is do I go through the trouble of hacking a gearbox into this thing so I have forward and reverse or do I just keep it a simple simple golf cart? And one could answer that question either way fairly easily um, but before we answer that question, 
I just want to... You're just a pest today. What's the matter? You got thrown out? You were bothering people and you got thrown out? That's what I think happened. One has so much time in their life and then you run... You know, then you're busy doing other things. This is the rear end with forward and reverse. And I'd really kind of like to hack that into this thing. Get this thing to go. Um, so I got forward and reverse. And I could theoretically drive it with something like a 200E motor. The nice thing about the 200E is it charges a 12 volt battery and it's electric start and it's pull start. So I have all those options. And um, given that it charges a battery, I can run a fan to blow some air on the motor to keep it, keep it cool. So that's what I'm thinking about doing with this thing. So then that gives me a utility cart that's actually strong, right? It's capable of, you know, dump and strong and, you know, does what I ask of it. So that's floating around in my mind and so is this guy this guy the frames actually in better shape I started with the other one because I thought the other one would be easier to hook to the rear end on this one here this one here would actually be a little easier to to do forward and reverse because it's already the motor's already sideways, but the frame's in better shape. It's not rotted out as bad on this guy. Um, I meant to check to see when this thing was built. This thing is uh, older. This might be as old as a 72. Um, which means the rear end and everything else is probably stronger in this. Um, the one down in the driveway, I think it was an 88. We could go look at the tag. The tag's actually easier to read. Oh, rat. What? It's an attack cat. Boy, she was sick last week. She, uh... She would wake up and stand up, and her head was kind of, kind of dazed, you know, pivoting, kind of rocking a bit. She seems to have uh, recovered. We made her a doctor's appointment, a vet, and uh, the next morning she woke up and she was eating. She wasn't quite herself, but she seemed a lot better. So we uh, decided not to bring her to the vet, and she has recovered. Um, I was going to tell you what year this is. Yeah, this is a 1988. The J14, I don't know, 14 might be the 14th week of the year, which means this was produced, I don't know, the first week of April, I guess. J, I think, might be the plant, and the 88 is the year. That's how I think it works. If anybody knows different, please let me know. So, yeah, obviously I'm not slamming a motor into this thing today. Today is Tuesday, so I'm about to do a rotation at work. Plus I have um, Christmas and all that's going to distract me um, for next week. So it's going to take me a little while to get back on this. But uh, I just wanted to tell you what my thoughts were. And also to show you guys how this all works um, unless you've taken one of these apart, you really don't know what's going on underneath. Um, I, and if one wants to do a project like this, I'm up to 14 minutes, so let me kick it up a gear or two. If one wants to do a project like this, typically electric golf carts, after somebody's stolen the battery for, from them, these go anywhere from free, take it away, to... If it's in better shape than this, I don't know, I might pay somebody 
a hundred 150 but it'd have to be in better shape right you'd want the seat on it you'd want everything there with the batteries weak batteries typically um, three to five hundred but then remember you get to pull six golf cart batteries out of here you probably have a hundred bucks worth of batteries 150 bucks worth of batteries to uh, turn in so if you get one for 200 bucks with all the dead batteries in it um, you 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 get a lot of your money back not quite all of it um, and once again you'd want something with tires on it right uh, what am I gonna have into this I didn't pay much for these a, a buddy of mine bought a load of these and rebuilt a bunch of them and then he had the losers left and he clustered up all the losers together and gave me a deal on all that crap he just here get it out of my house type of deal so I don't know let's say I got a hundred bucks into it so a hundred and then um, let's say I'm gonna put a set those tires from Georgia on there that's a hundred plus another hundred it takes me to two hundred if I put a Predator engine on there, I don't know. They go on sale for 99 By the time I put tax on and a few other details, call it 100 and a quarter, right? That's three and a quarter. Um, a torque converter is 200 which takes me to five and a quarter. A centrifugal clutch is about 50 Still needs brackets and chains. So it's somewhere even... Uh, I'm I'm finding my way toward six hundred dollars just to, just to run this thing on you, you know by by the time you add it all up right called a hundred for the cart a hundred for a set of tires there's two hundred for the motor for the Predator there's three if you go with a uh, centrifugal clutch and chain call that another hundred that takes you to four if you go with a torque converter five right and even another hundred on top of that 550 you know and i'm sure with some of the details i'd probably you, you know the pipe you, you know everything else um if you want to put paint on it rather than drive something that looks like a piece of um dung med whatever you want to call it right you you can you can easily you can easily find your way towards six um in my area of running golf cart, I think I paid for this blue and yellow wonder that runs most of the time, but not quite all the time. I think I paid him five for this thing. I mean, it's got an ugly paint job, but the tires have always held air, and I mean, it's got the cap on it and all. I think I paid five for this. Um, I paid 450 for this one, and it's complete. It's got the robin in it. I had to replace one of the tires. The other three were good, but the uh, the motor. Um, uh, something else about golf carts. If you're trying to fix the motor that's in them, parts are like, how much money do you have? Expensive. This thing has the Robin engine in it. It was theoretically rebuilt. It needs a carburetor, which I think is around 50 bucks, and it needs a starter that's 150. So basically, to continue troubleshooting this, forget the carburetor. I'll put a 200s carburetor on it to troubleshoot it. But the um, electric starter generator for this guy is about 150, 175 bucks delivered. So. You know, to continue troubleshooting it, 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 uh, I got to put money into it. I just haven't, haven't done that yet. And once again, if I got 450 into it, another couple of hundred on the starter, 450, 650, right? You find yourself uh, uh, climbing very quickly. Golf carts. If you're trying to fix them with the original parts, it's not cheap. And even if you're trying to smash a Predator motor into it, you know, the hundred dollar motor and torque converter or a clutch right you just you know it just keeps milking you more and more coin all right folks i'm gonna run thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing i'll uh, i'll see you all soon um 
once again it's going to be busy with the holidays so i might be on and off but you guys probably won't have much time to watch either right because of the holidays all right guys remember keep your feet down keep your head up and uh enjoy all your days make sure you have fun bye now